Welcome to your ultimate pit stop, Piston Pundit. Today, we're going to delve into the current state of the electric vehicle market. A year back, the EV market was thriving with a 90% growth rate. The government aimed for a two-thirds electric vehicle transition by 2032, and manufacturers were ready for hefty investments. Today, however, the market growth has slowed to 15%. Emission rules have eased. Prices are being cut. Investments delayed and dealers are hesitant to sell EVs. It appears the EV market is facing turbulence, and here are seven reasons why. Reason number seven. The electric pickup sector hits a speed bump. The EV industry is grappling, with pickups being the hardest hit. While the market grows slowly, electric pickups have stalled. Rivian, an early electric pickup producer, saw sales decline in 2023, ending the year with a 14% decrease. In January, they sold just 762 pickups, a 43% year-over-year drop. If this trend continues, Rivian may only sell about 9,000 R1T pickups this year. Legacy automakers like Ford and GM aren't faring better, with production cuts and slow sales. Electric pickups fall short of their ICE counterparts. Automakers have repeated the same mistake they made with EV cars by focusing on luxury. But this doesn't work with pickups, as truck buyers are practical. They want good towing and payload capacity, convenience, utility, and value for money. Electric pickups, overpriced and underperforming, especially in towing and range, have unsurprisingly slow sales. Reason number six, the rapid electrification plan has stumbled. A year ago, the EPA proposed stricter emission standards, aiming to make two-thirds of new cars all electric by 2032. However, after seeing last year's sales results, it became clear this wouldn't happen. The EPA has now announced less demanding rules. The new plan aims to electrify just one-third of the market by 2032, potentially including plug-in hybrids. The emission standards are lower, with a new goal to cut carbon emissions by 49%, a 7% decrease from the initial plan. This adjustment helps automakers avoid green tax credits and allows the market to grow naturally. Consequently, the big three can maintain their pickup lineups without drastic changes, and heavy-duty trucks will continue to burn gasoline and diesel for years to come. Reason number five, the era of hefty discounts. The EV market's downturn became evident last year when Tesla drastically cut prices to clear its 2023 inventory, forcing other automakers to follow suit despite pre-existing losses. Ford, for instance, offered such substantial discounts on its all-electric F-150 Lightning that transactions could be up to $15,000 lower than the MSRP, leading to over $5 billion in losses in 2023 alone. When new federal tax credit rules revealed most EVs wouldn't qualify, massive discount offers emerged. Today, nearly every EV sells below the MSRP, with average discounts around $10,000 for the Mercedes-Benz EQE SUV and $9,000 for luxury BMW models. Mainstream market players like Volkswagen and Hyundai are also offering discounts of $3,000 or more on models like the ID.4 and Ionic 5. Before we delve deeper, do us a favor and smash that like and subscribe button. This helps us reach more auto enthusiasts just like you. Now, let's shift gears and steer towards our next point. Reason number four, Tesla's stock takes a tumble. As the world's most valuable automotive company, Tesla's missteps send shockwaves through the entire EV industry. The first quarter of the year has been challenging for the Austin-based company. Massive price cuts have eroded profit margins, and a price war in China with BYD has added to the strain. Add to this the slowdown in North America and the pressing need for a smaller, cheaper EV. These developments have not been well received by investors, leading to a significant drop in share prices over the past few months. In the first week of March alone, they fell 7.2% to $188. Over the quarter, stocks have slumped 24% since the start of the year. Legacy automakers, particularly American companies that have invested billions in unsuccessful EV projects, are grappling with similar issues. Last November, 
GM announced a $10 billion share buyback plan to restore investor confidence. Reason number three, dealers are shying away from EVs. Dealers are the pulse of the market, and their actions suggest a problem with EVs. Many aren't keen on selling EVs, and some, like Buick dealers, have even opted for buyouts over selling EVs, leading to half of them closing in 2023. A significant supply-demand imbalance exists, with a 114-day supply in the U.S., twice as long as last year, and nearly double that of gas-powered vehicles. Slow demand has led to half of Ford dealers resisting selling EVs, especially considering the required $1 million investment in EV infrastructure and training. Selling EVs is time-consuming and challenging, and massive discounts leave little room for markups. Reason number two, automakers are hemorrhaging money. For some time, companies like Ford and GM have been pouring billions into EVs, but even these substantial investments haven't been enough to establish a sustainable business model. For a variety of reasons, EVs remain unprofitable for legacy automakers. Batteries are costly, and optimizing production is a complex task, leading to significant losses. With the exception of Tesla, every automaker is currently losing money on EVs. Some are losing a lot, others even more. Ford is a prime example, having lost around $36,000 on every F-150 Lightning sold last year. As a result, it ended 2023 with losses exceeding $5 billion. Things have reached a point where Ford is now postponing EV investments planned for 2024 to conserve capital. According to some sources, the total of $12 billion investments planned for this year have been delayed. GM is in a similar boat, having pushed back the production of the all-electric Silverado and Sierra to 2025, with the production of the new drive unit not starting until the end of this year. Reason number one, EVs aren't meeting customer expectations. Perhaps the most telling sign that the EV market is on the brink of a crash is the reality check delivered by a recent survey from Boston Consulting Group. The study confirmed what many already suspected. The current generation of EVs simply isn't up to par to become the primary mode of transportation. The study revealed that about 40% of customers plan to switch to electric cars, but their expectations are high. They're looking for a $50,000 EV that can cover at least 350 miles on a single charge and recharge in under 20 minutes. And do you know how many EVs on the market today meet these criteria? Just one. The Hyundai Ioniq 6 SE RWD Long Range is the only electric car that fits the bill, making it abundantly clear that the industry has a long way to go before EVs become attractive to the average consumer. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the EV landscape. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on the latest vehicle trends and insights, don't forget to subscribe to Piston Pundit. We'll see you in the next video.